What's up YouTube? Welcome to episode four of my series on differentials. And in this episode, we're gonna be looking at a custom differential, the idea for which I originally got from a channel called One Plain Text. I've got the links in the description below if you wanna check that out. On the screen at the moment, you can see all of the parts that will be used in this build, and all of the part numbers will be also shown in the description below. In previous videos, I covered what a differential is in a lot more depth, but in summary, a differential essentially allows the wheels of a car to move at different speeds, allowing that car to turn. And a Lego differential unfortunately provides all of the power to one of those wheels when the other one is stuck. This means that if a vehicle is driving over rough terrain, it can often get stuck. A torsion differential overcomes this problem by distributing the power to the wheels more evenly. So let's get stuck into the build process. Now, you can do this in a number of different ways. I use the turntable with both uh, the top and bottom parts connected, but you can use them separately. So it depends how you wanna install this into your vehicle. At the end of this video, I will show you how to install it into a vehicle and give you a couple of examples of how that might look. we will also cover in this video a little bit later on some of the advantages of this particular model. But for now, let's enjoy the build process. This is really the only part of the build process you need to pay a little bit more attention to. Just need to make sure that these gears go in the right place. You need one above and one below each of the worm gears. So these little orange bushes that are going over the long friction pins, you don't actually have to have these in place. I think that they make it a little bit neater and I just found that when it was built, the top and the bottom part were uh, more well married together and they didn't, it didn't move around quite so much. So that's it, that's how you build this torsion differential. It's dead simple, really easy to make, there's not too many fiddly parts, and there's only about 33 components involved if you use all of the orange bushes. So I think this is a particularly robust, heavy duty, and easy to make torsion differential, and for those reasons, it's one of my favorite of this series. So here we've got the example build, where you can see this torsion differential in place. Now, like with all of these really, it takes up a little bit more space than the standard one, so you do have to compensate for that. And this is really just one of like an infinite number of ways that you could integrate this into a system. But this is a particularly easy way and it takes advantage of the turntable. You can see there obviously that the wheels turn independently and it moves like a normal car, unless it's otherwise been given some obstacle to overcome. You can see there, again, it just easily overcomes any obstacles by distributing that power between the two drive wheels. So here we have another example of how this can be implemented. I've got this sat between two frames. Because it's got the uh, stop axles, uh, you won't be able to build it and then install it into a frame. So in this case, I've put it between two frames. But you can see here that it works in the same way as a normal differential. The only real difference is that it doesn't get stuck when you're going over obstacles. And if some pressure is applied to one of these wheels here, you can see that it distributes that drive force to both of the wheels, allowing it to overcome any obstacles. So there you have it. This is a really nice, really simple to build, very robust, heavy duty torsion differential. And those stop axles that fit in just right into this particular build also make it more stable as they're less likely to fall out. I really like this one and I think it's dead easy to use, but you will have to make a build a little bit wider to fit it in. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, check out some of the other videos in this series where we cover a whole range of different custom torsion differential builds that you can use in your Lego Technic builds and systems. The first video in this series also covers 
what differentials are in a lot more detail and I'll review each of the LEGO differentials that are available at the moment. And the last video in this series compares all of the differentials that we show throughout the series. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like and subscribe. If you've got any questions or comments, leave them in the comments section below. And if there's anything you'd like to see me review or build or you want further explanation on, also drop us a comment in the section below. Thanks for watching.